player. When he's here, you know it. And then he will go off into the mountains, and we just won't see him for a little bit. And then he comes back, and it's like nothing ever changed, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. It's like a nomad type of type of deal, right? It's like a monk going up into the mountains, training up, and coming back even stronger. Well. And now Mia, even though he has a whole lot of Sonic experience to his name, we got all those sets against Cam. We have all those encounters with Sonics. We have another Sonic on the screen right now. We're going to see what Wrath can do up against the Game & Watch in the game right now. Yeah, we're going to check it out. The Game & Watch, of course, in Mia. Like I said before, needs no introduction. Let's see what they can do against Wrath. And already, Wrath with a slight lead. You know the vibes. I'm up in percent. There's an up air aggression from the ledge. Able to tack on some more damage. Mia trying to find an opening. Does finally find that Nair into up air to get a little bit of damage here. But this is a character that can definitely deal with Game of Watch. If it's got to be anybody, it should be Sonic, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. All right, but this is about what you're going to be seeing for uh, the entirety of the set right now because we all know what Game Watch is about. We all know what is going down when Game Watch is on stage, right? We're just throw out those disjointed hitboxes. We're going to link literally everything together. That pivot guard was godlike, by the way. I really like that. Mm -hmm. But Sonic and Wrath specifically do not want to interact with that anywhere than they need to. So I'm going to get my damage. I'm going to make sure it's safe. I'm going to make sure it's clean. I'm going to get up out of dodge. Okay. Spin Dash coming through for Wrath, for Tilt connecting. Mia trying to get back to stage, utilizing that up B, and actually trying to set up the forward air into the down smash. I do like that setup, but the forward smash from Wrath will connect. It's not going to kill Mia just yet. Mia still trying to make their way back. Good throw from Wrath, looking for the down throw, get some extra damage in, sharking for that back air. Mia planting these bombs on the platform and on the stage just to avoid uh, Wrath's wrath, I guess. Yeah, well put. <laughs> But we're going to be on the ledge right here. And actually, no, we're not. We're just going to skip ledge entirely because we do not want to deal with bacon at ledge. I like the idea. And Mia not able to cover the high recovery from Wrath. We're just going to steal the stock with the F-Tilt. And up a stock. Come on. Where are your tent emojis at? I know y'all got them. You up know what we're about. Up a stock. You know the you vibes. You know the vibes. Wrath, if Sonic can do it, or Sonics can do it, you can do it too, I suppose. And those are boys. They've been training together for almost a decade now. So you know they share your techniques, you know they share match with knowledge, all that. Now, so I don't think there's any one person more prepared in this building to go up against Mia than Raph. I don't want to encourage camping, but you are playing Sonic against Mia. So at this point in time, Raph's like, I'm going to take what I can get, mm. get some percentage here, play this very, very, very safe. Spin Dash coming through, connecting on to Mia, getting more and more damage. And Mia actually reading the movement from Raph and planting that chair onto his face and taking that first stock. Not too bad for Mia here. Yeah, but 68 is not ideal. 74 now and just the, the way that Wrath plays his game out, he's pretty much always going to be in a situation, ideally, where if you get that stalk off and bring it back even, you are just that much closer to being on the back foot yet again. Mm -hmm. Dash attack coming through from Wrath. Rocking the shadow tag as well. Didn't they just release a new Sonic game? Mm -hmm. He's been spamming it. Oh, yeah. You know, you know the Sonic, how the Sonic players get down. They're all super fans. Why is it Shadow? It's like, it's like Shadow. Why is it Shadow in Smash? Well, oh, <laughs> sending him to the Shadow Realm off the top to spring into the up air from Wrath and doing pretty dang well into Mia right here. Wrath looking great in game one. And like I said, you can't be too surprised that this guy is prepared to fight him some Game & Watch the way that his one of his training partners, Sonics, handles Game & Watch on the big stage every single time we see him. Exactly, the upbeat coming through. More damage here with a back air from Wrath and slowly beginning oh, to whittle this. Barely yeah, yeah, that forward smash almost connect. Ah, we're Other side. Go bye bye. Okay. And we caught him too. The Sonic coupon works once a set guaranteed. Oh, and the rolling Rath. caught two stock dominant. Didn't even look close after that first stock. Wrath up big after that game one, making a statement. He looked so clean. He even went under the stage, baits him, goes above the stage, finds a back air, and then. Ha! Right yeah, there, right. that forward smash. Beautiful stuff from Wrath. Was that a two stock? On that was Mia? a two stock. Yes. Impressive. It was a high two stock, but a two stock nonetheless. Mia got the one off him, and he had to struggle to get that one. Make no mistake. Fantastic stuff from Wrath. Taking a water break. I myself am gonna sip on some water oh, as yeah, well. Good, you good should call, too. Good call. Hy hydration break for everybody in chat as well as us on the commentary desk and in production. Take a sip. Definitely want to be staying hydrated. As we get more into this gameplay here, Mia 
and Wrath once again on small battlefield, and Mia already behind. But no stranger to comebacks, that's for sure. Oh yeah, Mia just has that willpower, man. He's one of the few people in this scene that it feels like once they decide that they're going to win, they start winning. That's like a superpower that not a whole lot of people in just competition in general mm -hmm. have, but this kid has it. So Wrath has to find a way to suppress all that, stay on top, keep the foot on his neck, and just extend the lead right now. We're already up 39. We can, we can make a fort. Oh, we got hit. Oh, no, we uh, got hit. Ah, jeez. There's some damage for me in the nair into the up B. The chef wants to feed this hedgehog a little bit. Not too much, though. Also, get too fat and won't be able to run as fast. Mm -hmm. But maybe that's part of the plan. Maybe he's playing the long con. Uh, it's all part of his plan. Fatten up the Sonic. I mean, would Sonic be fat with all the chili dogs he consumes? Yeah, but he runs it all. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. See, he's got on, a no. high metabolism. Exactly. You know what? See, I didn't think of the science behind it. That's my bad. Yeah, I don't just run fast. I I live fast. <laughs> oh, good for it out of show right there on the chair and catching the rolling right there, narrowly avoiding the key is Wrath. That probably would have done it at the top of the screen right there, but we're never gonna get to find out. Oh, 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 oh my! Oh. That that didn't pop shield. Just barely surviving a sliver of shield for Wrath. The key will come down in that down air. Mia baiting that jump out from Wrath. And Wrath is able to go high enough with that spring to avoid it. Spin dash into forward air from Wrath. And the forward air once again coming all the way out there right. and catching Mia off that right side blast. Yeah, I like that that double forward there, just making sure they're able to keep the pressure on Mia. Mia built up such a big lead at the start of this game, and now the whole thing is gone. And now it's Wrath's turn to return the favor. Yep. Wrath once again up a stock. You already know the vibes, Dom, but Mia looking to work this stock into oh, their Oh, that grab was a good idea. Yeah, try to get that grab. Mia definitely goes for a lot of grab, I think, even versus Sonic. Yeah, because it's just the the benefit of the character, right? Mm -hmm. Game Watch has all these hitboxes you can throw, you can cover so much space. Your natural instinct against a character like that is just to like abuse shield, abuse Correct. spot dodge. So he's going to get a lot of grabs, and he knows that. Exactly right. Mia playing to his advantage. That's a great punish, but somehow does the berry does not come through, and Wrath even teched it after the fact. Somehow ready for that situation, recognizing that he was not going to get buried at that moment. But Wrath maintaining this lead for now. Mia looking a little bit better, though, in this Game 2 situation. I think the adaptation is already there. All right, let's see. They're, I was going to say they're about even, but honestly, the way that Mia's been playing this game, he's still getting a lot of damage off of these hits. It's just a matter of how frequently he gets them. Mm -hmm. So 100 to 68 isn't too, too crazy. The next opening is going to be a lot of damage, I would uh -oh. wager. But if you even get it, will be the point in question. Spin charge into the forward air, and Wrath has yet another huge lead ahead of him. He could go up 2-0 in the set, and shut out one of the top seeds in this tournament very early. Yeah, 2-0 is a crazy spot to be in over Mia, but of course, Wrath could be the one to do it here, finding more damage onto Mia. Up air, up air. Yes! Three so of them. So much damage. And he's spin charge on landing too. 65 already on this paper, man. Oh! Somehow not catching the regular getup, but he had the right idea. Spin charge in the forward and one more time, almost a full stock up. Wrath is just dominating the pace of play right now. Mia has to find a way to, to douse the fire, get back in this game. Yeah. Somehow got to douse this fire. I don't know how you put out a fire this quick, though, Thomas. Wrath once again coming through with the spin dash into that forward air and the ha coming out once again. And we're going to see a forward air. Is Just that gonna be barely enough? connecting. Yes. And even Stale is going to do the job there. Another two stock from Wrath over Mia. It's looking like a player difference right now, y'all. I cannot lie to you. A player I difference. really cannot lie to you. <laughs> it's looking like a player difference at this moment in time. Mia is going to have to lean forward if he wants any chance in this set. Solid stop from Wrath. Able to take it 2 0 over Mia. For now. For now. For now is the key word in question. We know how top play gets. We do. You look, you look so good one moment, and then the very next, it's like, what happened? I had all of the control, and it was gone. Wrath cannot let that happen right It is now. not he over let it yet. It is not over for Wrath. It is not over for Mia. There is still more Smash Brothers to be played. The same stage choice for both competitors here and Wrath. Already taking it two over Mia. Can Mia bring this back? That's the real question that everybody's asking. This current moment. All right, neutral air on landing right there. Letting into the up air. No, jumps back into neutral. We're getting even more damage right here. 
Mia off to a pretty good start right here, but it's not about the start. He's got to clean up the middle of these games because that's where he's really getting killed. Honestly, the, the openings have always been fine. Honestly, I think if Mia could just find that first stock, mm -hmm. it's going to be so much easier to deal with Wrath because every time Wrath has gone up a stock, obviously he's won the game, right? So if yeah. Mia could do the same thing to Wrath, I think we'll have a different story. See if Mia could pull it off, though. All right, Tiger Nelson damage with the fire right there. That up B. They're coming through, Mia. Attacking on more percentage. Chef coming through, looking for a dash attack. I uh, tried to go for the parry on the home base right there. I like the idea. Would have given him a better chance at actually, you know, securing the stock right there on the edge guard. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, if the rodent is back on stage, just gotta find another way to deal with him. Yep, that's been charge cancel coming through the forward air. Not enough to kill Wrath just yet. Maybe see an edge guard. Nope. Able to go high. Wrath being very tricky. He goes high a lot. But I too like high that. that time around. And I, there coming I, through I, for me. I love the way they handled that entire offstage situation. He just threw the chef at homing attack, knowing you were either going to get the, hit, the pan hitbox or just stuff him out with bacon. And then when Wrath decided to recover high, he was already there with neutral air. That was very good stuff. This is exactly end. what we talked about, though, Dom. Mia being up a stock could be a different situation here now in game number three. I think we might see a change of pace, especially for Mia, now that they have a whole extra stock to play with against Rat. Mm -hmm. Gonna be very, I'm interested to see what sort of strategy they employ now. I wonder if they're gonna keep going in and just like prioritize mass amounts of damage, or if they're gonna try to slow the game down to a, a pace that they're more favorable to. Okay, we'll find out, dropping down to that stage. Mia setting up the bombs. Man, this is a no-fly zone. You can't spin charge, you can't spin dash. But Ross says, I'm gonna find that spin dash regardless. 119 here onto Mia, stuck in the ledge trap. Didn't hang there long enough for the forward smash to connect, luckily for Mia. Right. Up airs, up airs. Yeah, just juggle him, just get the, take the free damage, take it where you can get it. Oh, oh that was almost perfectly timed, but Wrath is able to sneak in that homing attack. Mia on the ledge right now. If you're not, if you're able to find the stock right here, okay. you still have a shot. 63% not bad. That's about two spin charge conversions and a little bit of a read at the end. We can get all that damage back. There's not a massive lead as well here for Mia. 71% is a lead, but is it enough here? Up throw, more damage here for Mia. Mia playing this very, very safely. Even up smashing the spring as well. Good timing. He didn't have to do that. All right, gets the hilt hitbox on the down smash, so we're going to get the outwards hitbox instead of the berry. Oh. Jabs. Oh, oh, just covering everything. Keeps running. Wrath just holds his ground. Not panicking at all. I like the decisions. And that decision could pay off in a big way. That could be the decision that gets him a lot of damage and potentially getting him back into this game on the stock. That one interaction from Mia was so, so impressive. How he was basically covering all the options in that moment and just barely missed Wrath. Down smash connecting on that platform. Wrath sent off the side. Barely tacked any damage onto Mia. Oh, Mia with grab. the movement. Pivot grab into the back throw. And now Mia has a chance for the edge guard. The key. Not going to two frame. Chair? Yep, there we Chair, go. Though. So many options at Game Watch's disposal to cover everything that you want to do off that ledge. And as long as Mia is able to consistently land them, you are good to go. And I'm seeing the gameplay switch from Mia. He just went to the left side of the stage and stood there for like three seconds. Yep. The Guys. Game, the gameplay shift from Mia is here, certainly. More damage here on to Wrath. Slowly beginning to rack up more and more percentage. Drop through up air, trying to catch uh, Wrath. Slipping a little bit. The key comes down, but that back air is not going to work this time around. Mia was ready for it. Oh my god, the regular get up through the chair was so well timed, but Mia still gets the grab anyway. Mia shutting it down right now. Yeah, we might be returning the two stock actually. We'll find out on this episode of Wrath vs. Mia. Spin charge, able to cancel it with the down air. Rapid jab. Bit of a scrap in the center stage right there. Oh, sneaks under the chef. Mm -hmm. So now Wrath is able to get an opening forward. He's going to push Mia oh. off stage. No jump, but Spring brings him back. If you got the hours hitbox out there, it would have been really good for Wrath, but unfortunately, we're going to have to find a way to cover and get past Mia's onslaught up air to back air. So much damage. Yep, good damage from Wrath. But they need to close out the stock, and they do. They sneak the boots through the forward air. That bomb not going to explode. And now Wrath has a chance, but Mia has 147 racked up. Ooh, careful. Oh, my God. You have, you have to play so perfect at this point in time. Perry. Yeah, send him off stage. Zero margin of error right here for Wrath. He's got to play this entire back half of the game virtually perfectly at 171 already. There we that go. neutral air is probably going to do it, and it is Mia finally on the board. And it wasn't a two stock, but it was very, very dominant. Mm -hmm. From the first stock on, Mia just showed that he had the adjustments on lock. And now Wrath is going to have to play the game. They're going to have to play the game. A solid contrast to those first two games for Mia. Able to control the game, and I think it's like I said, like we talked about before, 
you got to get that first stock. Yep. Whoever gets that first stock in this matchup is going to be looking real, real pretty. But the way that Mia is playing now in game number three, I'm expecting this game number four to be even closer. Yeah. I think that's going to set the tone for the remainder of the set, right? You mm -hmm. get two stock twice. And then you are able to pull out the, all the stops and get your own dominant win in game three. Oh, yeah, we're going the distance, and it's going to be a close one. It looks like Mia's figured some things out for sure. Okay, we're going to get the Sonic theme song. Yes, sir. Yeah, but Sonic music on? Come on now. Why not? Sonic, have you ever seen a Sonic player lose with the Sonic music play? I don't, you know, the thing about Sonic players, they're all such Sonic fans, aren't mm -hmm. they? They just love they're Sonic. Sonic lifers, bro. They're, they're just Sonic for lifers, you know? Sonic for life. That's not my main. That's me. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> so we're going to run it back to Swap Battlefield. For the fourth time this set, we're probably just going to keep it. Same venue for every game. But it's just going to be a matter of who is going to be able to get that first stock. Because you've been preaching the importance of the first stock the entire uh, set, Zap. Mm -hmm. Whoever gets that first stock right here is probably going to be able to run away with this game right here. But let's see if one of these players is able to shake up the narrative. Let's see. Small Battlefield, of course, once again. And Mia off to a great start. 73%. A little spin into the up air. Wrath finding some good damage here in the aerial situation. Mia has to return to stage. And that forward smash going to whiff. And the forward smash from Mia going to connect. Yeah, that's and how the you back do it, air actually. as well. Is that the first stock? Not quite. It yet. could be. No jump out there. Wrath is being oh, very careful with this recovery. The ledge drop. Such good weight. Oh my god. That was actually great recovery from Wrath. Even better patience for Mia. That was good on both sides. And Mia was able to turn that patience on the edge guard into a stock of his own. And we are up, not in a big way, but maybe it's enough of a lead for him to finally get something going right here. And these nares are coming yeah, out. Mia, That's already 43%. Mia's playing so, so well here in game number four. We've seen the adaptation. What was he looking for in that moment, Mia? Damage. Chef. What else would I be looking right for? Now. I'm looking for damage. We're going to get an up air. More damage here. And damage is what he will find, Dom. The up smash just barely not going to be able to connect with the forward smash from Wrath, finding that first stock and breathing a sigh of relief because Mia was beginning to run away with it. Yeah, but we've already gotten 90 and then some on the side of Mia, just barely avoiding the up smash. This is big damage coming out for Wrath. 35 now. Another opening is on the way, most likely, unless Mia has something to say about it. Okay, spinning right on through. Mia getting out of dodge with that up. Be the forward air zoning coming through, letting that up smash rip just in case Wrath decided to fly in on Mia. Mia playing on these platforms, controlling the space here, trying to encroach on Wrath's uh, comfortability on this left side, I would say, because Mia doesn't want to give away too much, right? Back air comes through, though. It's connection for Mia. Chef, Wrath making it back. Oh, good parry. And then the up B just to force Wrath back off the stage. Oh, oh. Drops the bomb on him. Oh, the and we up. parry him. Up smash comes out. Y'all, it's looking crazy right now. I was talking about player different in the favor of Wrath in the first two games. Complete reversal I think Mia in the next two you. games. Yeah, I, he definitely hurt me. I think Mia's pissed. He definitely shot me a little look after, like, bro, who, I know think, who I am. I think we pissed off one of the best players in the world, Dom. Yeah. And if you were rooting for Wrath, I'm sorry. Not advisable. Oh, oh my god, he actually caught him. Will the we match get out? out. Pops him up once again. Can't get the second berry, unfortunately, for Mia. But, I mean, Mia just looks like a different beast right now. And it's looking really difficult for Wrath to get anything going, but not out of the realm of possibility yet. 101 still has some lifeline left over, but for how long against Mia can you hold out? Yeah, it's not looking good for Wrath right now. He's tapped into the power of his Game & Watch brethren. He's in the Avatar state right now. Mm -hmm. Feels like everything is working in his favor, even though he can say without homing attack, the dare just still lands, and the jump read on the bear still works. You cannot beat him when he gets into this mode, guys. Mia you just knows can't do it. exactly where Wrath wanted to be. We saw that key not get the proper hitbox, but Mia's like, I know you're jumping here. Puts the turtle out, multi-hit, you're falling right into it, and of course it's gonna kill, right? It's a very strong and powerful move, so Mia making effective use of their tools, and we could see our, our first reverse 3-0 in this block right now. Oh, we're actually sitting the stage, okay. I like the decision. Uh, I won heavy the first two games on that stage, and I lost heavy the next two. Maybe, mm -hmm. maybe the stage is not giving me what maybe I think it's giving me. You know, let's pace. get a switch up. You change know, my life scenery. is on the line right here. Why not, right? Yeah, why not? So, Hollow Basher coming out in this fifth game. Wrath versus Mia, trying to move on to winner's quarterfinals here at Luminosity. Makes lose Miami. 
See what Wrath can do. That should be a massive punish. Oh That's such a long time to charge that, too. Yeah, it's unfortunate that the berry can't come through. It's because Sonic is in an animation when they come out of the lag there. Yep. That's why the berry doesn't actually come through. The grab does come through for Mia. However, now chefing it up here. Wrath going high, but the upbeat has so much coverage. Mia is just absolutely demolishing the damage on this ledge trap. Finally, though, Wrath getting out of there. Oh, in the reverse just up kidding. B, just to make sure that Wrath gets sent off stage now. Okay, dodges the up B. Tries to sneak a hit in. Oh, mm. tries to get past the bomb, but not able to do it. And, and just turtle. runs right into the turtle, man. Just slight mistiming from Wrath, and that's going to be a lead for Mia. 78% on him right now. And if my theory remains true, Dom, we could see Mia accruing a very large lead with this stock that they currently possess. The extra stock that they have over Wrath is going to be pivotal for Mia. Mm -hmm. All right, just looking for a landing right here. Something, anything punishable. Mia found the opportunity right there on the air dodge in. Oh, back throw, not going to do it here. No, not with no rage and not only at 110. But this ledge situation could do it for Wrath if he plays his cards right. Not able to find what he's looking for, but the roll away. Okay, forward air. Not going to be able to capitalize. Just barely not able to connect for Wrath, and that is very unfortunate. The F tilt going right. through. There's a grab. Yeah, reset the situation. Get him back off stage. I'm not going to mess up this one. Okay, Mia floating back to that level, stalling a little bit. Yeah, using that bucket stall. I like it. Okay, the up air coming through. Mia, once again, throwing out these multi hits. Game Watch has so many multi hits, man. Why he does. does. He have, why does he have this many? Forward air connection for Mia. Are we going to see the turtle once again? Oh, the parry. parry. Back throw. Send him back off stage. Make him do it again. Yep, you have to come back versus Mia's ledge trap, but that Got trick him. we saw! Ah, oh, yeah. no! He air dodged up, and then his collision box hit the stage, bounces away from the ledge. He's, he put in so much effort to get that stock off, ah, yeah. just for it to turn into a stock trade and you're down. Having that extra stock would have been super useful. The rapid jab coming through to find 24%. Mia, single hit Nair into another Nair. Just more and more damage. Every bit of damage that Mia gets now is so destructive. Yeah, every single hit just feels like a gunshot going off at this point. When you're this far down, you're trying to make the comeback. Every injury is a lethal one. Mm -hmm. Okay, Wrath fighting back a little bit, finding some up airs. That's two, three, four. four. Plenty of damage here for Wrath. Five, even yeah, six. Six of them, dang. Let's oh my rack goodness, it up. that's a whole pack. <laughs> Six pack of up airs. How much does that cost? Okay. Yeah, not a whole lot because he got them for free. Mm -hmm. Nair to forward air. Still alive though. Mia holding on to this second stock. Wrath trying to mount this comeback. But how? How do you beat Mia now? Yeah, it's it's not really a matter of how do I get these hits on Mia. It's how do I get these hits on Mia and not get hit well. myself because we got the stock. But we took 103 against Mr. Game & Watch. That is not advisable, that is not ideal. And even though Wrath is back on the stage now, it might be a situation where you've just taken too much damage to really make all that effort count. Yeah. We gotta find a way to get back to stage, however, or else we're never gonna know. Mm. Mash out the up B, good stuff from Mia. And another up B, if you wanna get back on the stage, you're gonna have to pay for it. More the grab's coming damage. out, but that grab will never kill you. So Wrath is still in good shape. Mia's playing the stage very, very well, but Wrath finally connecting with that neutral air. Mia. Bursting out with the up B, couldn't catch the air dodge. Wrath slowly getting more and more damage. Mia coming down with the key. The up B ah. once again to swat the hedgehog away. Is that the down smash? No, it's not. The up air, Wrath, more damage. Hold on, wait a minute. It's 100% indifference right now, but I'm starting to believe a little oh. more. I'm starting to believe Wrath can make this comeback. He's made it so far back. 82 ah. rage. If that's been church connected, that was the set in his favor. But we have to keep playing the game. Let's well, see what he can find right here. Mia. Able to dodge. The forward air comes through. The spin dash. Is, is, the forward is that air. it? It's not, it's not it. Mia is still alive. 109, 174. He has you off the ledge, though. Wrath, what do you have for us? He doesn't have smash. smash. No connection. Mia up being once again. Are we going to see the stock here? Is huh? the gonna How did that, wait, what? How, How did, did that work? Connect? Mia still trying to control the stage. Bucket. Spin through the back here. The, the, the bear didn't kill. Forward. What is happening in this game right now? Oh, it's so unbelievably close. The forward air is once again. He's charging in the corner. Mia has let this entire game slip back, and it might not be his fault. Oh, back the air. Air. That's it's it. Enough. Wrath over Mia. 3-2. Reverse 3-0, shut it down. Game five, run it all the way back. Oh, what a pop off from Wrath as well. Going absolutely nuts. Oh my goodness, in this crazy year for Wrath continues. The wins that he's been able to stack up the entire year. Like I said, when he's gone, he's gone. And when he's back, you're gonna goddamn feel it.
Oh my goodness. It looks like I was wrong, Dom. Whoever gets the first stock they is won 